Today I'm going to be looking at some Italian cartridges uh, made by Cheddite and they're called 100 metri uh, or 100 meters. Okay I've heard some good things about these cartridges and we'll get some firing done a little bit later. The cartridge is made of plastic, it's got a 16mm head on it, uh, it says 100 metri on it and I'm using 35 gram number 2 shot in lead. Okay what makes these cartridges different to normal um, as you can see on this one I've cut open is that there are two wads. Okay first of all you've got a driving wad behind the shot as per normal however there's a Gurlandi tub wad that goes over the shot Okay, and when the shot gets driven up the barrel by the driving wad, this tub wad remains over the shot for a considerable distance. Okay, so as it exits, it's exiting as one with maybe several pellets falling off the back. Okay, the gun I'm going to be firing these 100 metres out of is a Miracu 7000 and I'm going to be using quarter choke okay that's at 50 meters there's not a single pellet anywhere on the target okay so everything has been retained within that wad Okay, and that's what's left of the shot cup. Okay, it hasn't split open at all down the sides, but there is a hole in the back of it. Okay, but it's done the job. It's kept all the shot together. 75 metres. Okay, now this one is a surprise. We're at 75 metres now. And again, not a single pellet has exited that wad. And if we look around the back of it again, we can see yet another hole in the pallet board. Okay, and there's the wadding again. Picked up a bit of mud this time. Again, the back's being blown out of it. 100 metres. Yep, I don't believe it. At 100, although the wind is now starting to push it right, we've got about a 10 mile an hour wind coming down the valley. That certainly doesn't look like any pellets have exited. We've got the original two holes, and just there we've now got the hole from that one. And there's no indication there that that's spread anymore. Okay, and there's part of the wadding from that one. It's clearly been ripped off as it's gone through the pallet board. Okay, because of the angle I was shooting at, I was shooting from up on that banking in that second field. It's come down through the bottom of the pallet board and then torn up all that soil there. I don't think I'm going to find much in that. 120 metres. doesn't appear to have made it that far the pellets certainly have and with number two shot I'd be quite confident at taking a long-range crow at 120 
Okay, looking to the side, I can see the wadding, it's on the floor. And because it hasn't gone through anything, it's reasonably intact. Okay, so Girl Andy tub wad designed for this round. Wow, well impressed. Okay, the interesting thing is that there is no exit from the barrel. Okay, we have a split down that side where the pressure is split it open. But there's no exit. Yeah, and you can hear all the pallets rattling around inside. Just in case you're wondering what happened to the wad that we fired into the barrel, that got really badly damaged. Uh, the most damaged of all of them, um, even the ones that went through the pallet wood, didn't get damaged as much as that. Okay, and it shows you really how quickly water can slow something down when you think that nothing exited in that barrel. Okay, and that's the remains of the shot. There are still one or two left in the barrel I can't get out. But that's Italian number two shot. So there you have it, the 100 Metri. Very interesting cartridge. A few surprises there for me. Um, into the water barrel, into something soft and fleshy like that. It behaves very much like a glazer safety slug. Okay, it hits it, the shot disperses. No exit wound or no exit. Okay, close up, potentially. Um, very dangerous however it's only got to hit the slightest thing and that um, wadding will disperse the shot uh, and certainly 100 to 120 from what we've seen today I wouldn't hesitate in taking a crow with number two shot at those distances okay I might have to make a little allowance to the wind and finally I haven't tested the accuracy of this weapon. I've used it on a Miracu with a bead sight. I'm quite sure that if you used it on a shotgun with iron sights or an electronic sight, you'd be able to put that uh, initial shot down quite accurately. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video.